Hey guys, it's Nick, and welcome back to the final episode of Deltarune. At least I, I think this is going to be the last episode. So, last time, we got out of the prison, thanks to Susie. Susie finally joined the team for real, and decided that she was going to be nice. And we basically just made our way through the card castle, and we met my favorite character of all time. So now, it's time to go up here, and maybe meet the king. <gasps> it's Lancer! Hey, there's Lancer. Hey, that's what I just said. Alright. Fabby? Lancer, my son. Have you dispatched the Lightners as I commanded? N no, but I did even better. It turns out we don't actually have to fight them. They said they could just talk to you and... You're a fucking dumb piece of shit. Lancer, you don't tell the person you're plotting against your secret plan. You fucking idiot. They're alive? Yes, and I think you'll like them a lot. They're Susie. She's very purple and strong. She's very purple. <laughs> Where are they now? Um. Hey, here we are. Hey. It's nice to meet you. Lancer, Lancer, my son. Yes, father? Do you remember what I told you? D don't get too attached. You have failed. They have poisoned you with their sentimentality. Oh no, with niceness, how dare we? Free yourself, Lancer. They care not for you. Their only goal is to destroy our glorious fountain. I mean... If I'm being honest here, that's probably our primary objective. But we also want to be friends, because that's just like an added bonus. Being friendly is friends. They are scum. Thanks, bud. No, they aren't. Oh, jeez. What did you say? Let him go. Yep, you better. Also, poor choice of words, Susie. Ha ha ha. You want me to let him go? Then how about this? Job. I'll drop him off the edge and let him splatter. Susie, I fucking told you. Poor choice of words, you dumb son of a bitch. Unless you all kneel and learn your place. What will it be, Lightness? I think I want to kick the shit out of you. Don't let him do him, Susie. He'll... he'll... Oof. Damn. Now watch, Lancer. See what happens when you befriend Lightness. Oof, got him, got his ass. Ooh, what the? You, you traitor, come back here. All right, enough already. Who the hell do you think you are? <laughs> to my people, I'm a hero. To you? Oh shit, he's got two mouths. I'm the bad guy. I don't like that. I think you suck all of the dick. All of that dick. Is my... I want to make sure the volume's up, but whatever. King blocked away. Alright. Because I remember last time I had problems because I turned the, the game volume down. So the recording thing couldn't fucking hear it. Uh, but now I, I think I have it turned all the way up. So. Alright, uh, let's check. And you... You fight him. Actually, no, don't don't fight him yet. Uh, defend and defend. King, abandoned by the Lightners, his heart became cracked with hatred. He cannot be reasoned with, but don't give up. Huh. How dare you come here, Lightners? Easily, that's how, because we literally got stuck down here. We didn't choose to come here, we just fucking got trapped. Darkness pours from the fountain. Um, how about I'll try talking first. And then Susie, you can defend, and then I'll say you defend. You tried to reason with the king. Silence, Lightbringer! Your very existence goes against our own. By the knight's will, I shall shatter your heart to pieces. Your will is changing. Talk became courage. Huh. You that left us in the shadow, strict of meaning. Um, I don't know what we did, but I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck, you piece of shit. The battlefield is rumbling. Okay. Uh, Susie, talk to him. And I'll say you defend. Susie tried to reason with the king. Alright, listen up. 
Let this my friend. So if we can get by without hurting you, then... If I perish, so be it. Show my son the monster you really are. Alright, you wanna see what I can do, huh? Okay. Sissy's will is changing. Talk became Red Buster. You dare return to torment us once again? What do you mean, once again? I didn't do jack shit to you, you piece of shit. Uh, alright, alright, okay. Alright. King's Mouse gave a berserk smile. Well, that sounds not good. Alright, Susie, you defend. Give us the last of our toilet paper. Whilst I tried to reason with the king. You might not realize it, but this is a world where you don't have to fight. I know if we try, we can all find another way. Such simple-minded platitudes. A shame you will not live to realize your naivety. Now perish with the pathetic lightness you worship. Sorry, my friends and I aren't going anywhere. Lasse's will is changing. Talk became dual heal. Be gone. We have found a fresh purpose. What do you mean? Like, Subway fresh? That sounds pretty alright, to be honest. Subway is kind of shit. Darkness pours from the fountain. Alright, um... Ooh, that does damage. And I want to do that. So, Rase, you defend. Rase, you'll be our source of TP. Since he's Red Buster. Holy shit! That's a lot of damage. For the night has appeared. Alright. This one isn't too bad. Oh, never mind. I'll shut my fucking mouth then. Because I just lost a bunch of health. King's mouth babble indecipherably. Alright, Red Buster again. Or I'll say you do tea. Uh, yeah. So you use Red Buster. Bam! It always just does 304. The knight that pulls the fountains from the earth! I don't know who this knight person is. Oh god, this looks bad. It looks very bad. Okay, this isn't actually too bad. Alright, that's actually that's actually pretty easy to dodge. You just go with the box. Alright, um... Defense boost. Alright, I don't want to use that yet, because I don't want to use up TP. I want to save all the TP for Red Buster. Nice. Alright. Holy fountains, whose shadows are creating a new world. Our world. Your world is the bad one, apparently, because I don't know what the fuck I did to you to deserve this bullshit. But, you know what? I don't even care at this point. Alright. Um, so after this one, we'll be able to use Red Buster. I almost just fucked up the attack. Ha 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 Do you see now our new purpose? Oh god, you're targeting Walse? How dare you car target the fluffy boy? Oh, it almost hit the corner. It's like the DVD thing. It's gotta hit the corner. The battlefield is rumbling. Alright. Red Buster. And you defend. Soul shot his power on Susie. He's Red Buster. Yeah! Destroy that ass. Soon this world shall be blanketed in darkness. And darkness shall rule it! No. Okay, we're the heroes here, and you're the poo-poo. So, uh, screw you, I don't like your face. Alright, Red Buster, and then defend. Shines power on Susie. Susie's Red Buster! Blam you! Blam that ass! Then you may see what it is like to live in despair! Alright, I hope we're doing the right thing by attacking him, because I don't want to lose the game because of this shit. Alright. Oh shit, well, says low on health. Okay, um. Here, instead of defending. Okay, so we'll fight, and then we'll say, you use an item. Use. Um. Actually, use this one. This one's good. Club sandwich. Yay. Bam. Nice. Susie did way more damage, but okay. Now, enough talk! Fall before the chain of justice! Chain of justice, huh? Holy shit! Okay. Forget what I said earlier. This looks like total horseshit. Oh my god. Jesus. Jesus Christ. How did I do that? I don't know how the fuck I did that. Soul Shine's power on Susie. Red Buster again. Destroy that ass. Ha! You're quite strong, aren't you? You right. You right. And you right. You know? Because you right. That's just it. You just right. King's mouths babble indecipherably. Alright, good. Then we'll attack him. And defend. Bam, bam. Nice. 111. If I keep fighting you like this, then... Then what, you'll die like a little bitch baby? Oof. Better learn how to fight, old man. You dumb piece of shit. Ow. Fuck. <laughs> Damn it. Alright. And then... Yeah. Soul Shine's power on Susie. Now we'll destroy him. It seems that... Seems that you're 
dying. This is your last attack because you're dying inside. Ow, fuck. God damn it. Holy shit. Alright, um. I don't know what to do. Uh, I'm gonna do this one. Actually, no. Fight. Fight. And then. Well, I'll say you use this one. Oh no, not that one, not that one, I want to use this one. Top cake, everyone's healed. Bam, and wham. Oh, uh, I did a lot of damage, but... Oh! I... I see. You are much stronger than I envisioned. And now... Uh, oh, bye cape. That shit just flew away. Also, that was really easy. Lightner's eye. Perhaps I... I have been too cruel. The truth is, I was not always this way. There was once a time where darkness and lightness lived in harmony. A time where darkness could fulfill their purpose in peace. It would be a lie to say that I, too, do not yearn for those days. Oh. Perhaps, perhaps you young ones are right. Please, let us put away our weapons. I feel like that's a bad idea. I feel like you're going to slaughter us. There must be a, per a peaceful solution to all this. I seriously doubt that's gonna work. Also, I love how Ralsei just uses a scarf, so he just like puts himself down. He's just like, alright, time to relax. Come now, Susie. Yeah, Susie. I'm glad you're starting to realize, Mr. King. Yep, that's his last name. His last name is King. His name is Lancer's Dad King. That's his name. None of us really want to fight. But you can just tell us- If you can just tell us about your worries, I'm sure we can all be friends, Mr. King. Y yes Friends. So no one told- Oh, no, I did it in the wrong order. So no one told your life was gonna be this way. You can't not clap. If you- If you've ever not clapped to the Friends theme song, then goddamn you're a mad lad. Holy shit. If you if you're powerful enough to do that, you could wipe out planets with a single glance. You could. <laughs> nope. Never mind. I'm not gonna make that joke. This is just gonna get demonetized. That sounds lovely. <laughs> <coughs> My apologies. I am. I am not used to fighting like that. My body is getting weak. Oh, don't say another word. Uh, well, say what are you doing? Well, say stop. Well, I'll say you dumb piece of shit. He's gonna fucking kill us now. Yeah, you should be all healed up. How do you feel? L let's see. I fucking told you. Never better. I fucking told you. I'll say. Y you. Did I say you could get up? I did. Oof. Chris. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Oh, spare me the heroics. That hit me from this way. How did that knock me over here? I, that doesn't make any fucking sense. You, you're the leader, aren't you? So, what's your plan? To laugh as you cast us all back into obscurity? Definitely. That sounds like a great idea. You can't even say? No, because I don't need to. Because I'm too smart, ooga booga doo, for your ass. Young one, let me tell you a secret. Quiet people piss me off. Hey, that's what Susie said before. Oh. Hey, speaking of the devil. Hey, get away from my friends. <laughs> or what? You'll kill me? Nah. It's too much work, bro. That's your brosis. So what's your plan, then? To talk me to death? Obviously, dude. Dude, I got some killer topics to talk about. And when I say killer, I mean that literally. You stupid, stupid lightner. You honestly think you have any way to convince me not to kill you? <laughs> There's so many things happening in my mouth right now, and it's weird. Stop it! Stop! Stop! No. Nah. But they might. Oh, wait, what the fuck? <laughs> Holy shit. 
Who are these guys on the bottom? I've never fucking seen them in my life. Jesus. Also, this is just like fucking Thor Ragnarok. It's like, you're not powerful enough to defeat me. I know. But he can. <laughs> like, seriously, that's, that's literally what this is. Lancer, everyone, what is the meaning of this? Sorry, Dad, you're being overthrown. When I told everyone you were fighting the Lightners, everyone remembered that how kind they were. They decided they'd rather have a king that accepts them. Me? Now I'm the dad. <laughs> just, just the king is, it's not named, it's not called the king anymore, it's just called dad. When you're the king, you're dad, and that's it. You idiots, the Lightners are your enemies! Fools, I'll kill you! I'll kill all of you! Yikes, I think someone needs a timeout. Go to your room, Dad. No! I don't want to go to my room. Shut up! Hurry up, my dad! Okay. You alright, Chris? Ross, well, say, good job being dumb. Chris, Susie! Oh, you're all right. Yeah, it'll take more than that to take us down. You're damn right, Gre or Susie. Uh, I know it, too. Chris, Susie, I'm sorry. Because I healed the king, we almost... We almost... <coughs> Susie, you were right. I I was foolish to think we could act so soft to everyone. This isn't a world where kindness always wins, is it? <coughs> it's complicated. Yeah, sometimes there's people you just gotta fight. But if you never let your guard down, then you might just hurt someone you care about. Okay. Aw, Susie! You're beginning to sound like a real hero! Eh, don't get used to it. Alright. Then I... I suppose you and Chris should return home now. Yeah, I... I guess that's right, huh? Alright, guess we're just fucking out. Well, uh, see ya. I guess we're just out. We don't get to go back and get that cake that Rossley promised us. No, I'm going back. Fuck that. Huh? Chris, you wanna go say goodbye to everyone, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> well, if you're gonna make me, I guess we can go back for a bit. Let's go. Sounds like great. Chris, Susie, you came back? Um, well... Chris just wanted to say bye, you know? Oh, actually, everyone here wanted to say goodbye too. Please let me know when you leave, alright? Yeah, yeah, we'll try not to skip you. Alright? Chris, Su oh, Chris, Susie, are you leaving? No, we have to talk to Lancer first. Oh, okay, I thought he was gonna say something else. Way to go, kids! Now we can go back to making the puzzles we love. And thanks to your donation, I could buy a new hat and some shaving cream. Oh, now you got a nice hat. Got nothing left to teach you now. Life's got no tutorial, so try your best. Oh, that's kind of nice. Even a little ball can some take something like thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you. I can go back to being a coat hanger now. By the way, I asked Sham to come here, but there wasn't any interest. Alright. Best, you're the best. Alright. Honestly, we owe you. Okay. You're absolutely amazing. Alright. Great work. I guess that's how that works. Don, horsey, you've been done us a big help. Now all of us, all of us pieces can live in pieces. Boy, my nostrils can't thank you enough. You did it! You out- You ousted that rotten tyrant. I'll happily accept a bounty of credit for my contributions, unless the king reappears, in which case, I did nothing. <laughs> you did it! You out- Oh, okay. Yep, yeah, okay, same thing. Wonderful work, mine amigos! Thou hast toppled this the tyrant, freed thou creeds. Truly, if history shall not forget, the tale of Rooks' card and the three heroes. What about the part where you tried to kill us? Ah, oh, an interesting historical theory, is it not? Nonetheless, the evidence precluded such a thing. What evidence? 
I shall give it thou a plate of worms for thou silence. Deal. Fuck you mean, Susie. I don't want a plate of worms, you piece of shit. Ah, it's the Rudin. I knew you could do it. Though I was your enemy, I was cheering for you. That's how much I disliked my job. Alright, I mean, he seems like a piece of shit. The future looks sweet. Like a pile of bees puke. Which is honey, I think. A kingdom with so much hope. Hope you didn't screw it up. That means thank you. Come to our next B day, too. We'll have one soon. If that's possible. Alright. I really like that character, though. I think I think the three heads is a cool idea. Hathi looked at you proudly. Kiss? Limit one. <laughs> What's going on? I slept through everything. Well, oof for you, my guy. Hey, the cages are in here now. What ho? What about us? Or what ho? <laughs> like, you bitch, you're a ho. <laughs> God damn it. Aren't we going to be restored as kings? Oh, my treasure's unharmed. Carry on, then. Alright, I guess. Us animals decided it's okay if the kings stay in the cages as well. But they'll have to put on animal ears and noses. Oh, man. Mamma mia, what a celebration. This calls for a cake. And this time, I'll make it out of metal so animals can't eat it. Uh, that makes so much sense. I'll be honest. At first, we weren't sure who... who make our at first we weren't sure who make our new king that makes a hell of a lot of sense I mean Lancer has always been a bit of a pain but after seeing how nice he treats you guys I think he'll be fine alright I have high hopes for the new king he's already mandated a 400% increase in salt of production nice Suzy, blue person whose name I neglected to learn all along. I thought you were going home ways. We were, but Chris wanted to say bye, you know. Oh, really? Oh, that's funny. I thought you wanted to say bye because we're friends. Huh? I mean, I did not want to. Huh. Um, so you're the king now, huh? Because you're the king now, huh? Yes, and I'm changing some big rules. First, lightners are, are now legal. Second, prison is now only for dads. Sounds like some pretty good changes. Hey, your dad was uh, protecting the fountain, right? Is it gonna be okay if we mess with it? I have no idea, but it's you guys, so I trust you. If something bad happens, we'll fix it out. We'll fix it out? That doesn't make sense. You and Run are definitely friends, because you guys don't know how to make sense. Yeah, I guess we'll just... See, I guess. Um, we'll see you later. Come back soon. There's always room in town for a couple of clowns. Aww. You should tell your prince I say goodbye as well. Is he leaving? No, he's just a sweet little peach. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Nice little answer. Because you rescued it, it grew to respect you. Well, actually, maybe it shrunk to respect you. Oh, we don't get to go past it? Oh, that's bullshit. Oh, that's just a load of horse shit. That's just a fucking load of horse shit. That's just fucking baloney balls. I don't get to go back and have a cake. Well, fuck. Guess we're going this way now. We're just gonna dip. Alright, guess we're saying bye to all say. Chris, Susie, are you leaving? Hell if I know, I'm just following Chris. Guess we'll just walk to the right if we are. Alright. Susie, Chris, are you going to leave? Um, I... I just wanted to say, I... I... I really enjoyed meeting you two, and... Hey, can you stop mumbling into your hat for a sec? Also, why are your hands white? I can barely hear you, dude. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Holy shit! Um, Chris, Susie, I... What the fuck? I hope I can see you again soon. Next time I'll make you lots of yummy cakes, alright? Yeah, I'm confused too. 
Um, yeah, sure, dude. <laughs> Alright, let's go, Chris. Is that Azrael? Hey, Chris, I know you want to stay, but we gotta go. What if I try to go again? Damn it, okay. But was that Azrael? And also, so he, he turned from black to white. Does that mean he was committing blackface? You know, the important questions in life. Oh, god damn. Oh, I can see some spades in there. Is this the fountain? Yes, I think it is. Don't know how, but it feels like we stumbled into something really important, didn't we? Yeah, a little bit. Well, there's no time to think about that now. Right now, it's time to go home. Right, Chris? Yeah, so I'm gonna walk towards this bitch. As you stood in front of the fountain, you felt something strange. It was as if your very soul was glowing. Holy shit, maybe it is. <laughs> Just play some sick guitar riffs, you know? That's how you get home, you just play some sick guitar riffs. Have said sick guitar riffs enough? I don't think so. <coughs> what happened? I can't see anything. Hey, watch it! That's a dog. What? H huh? It's the unused classroom. How did we get here? I don't fucking know. Hey, Chris, what? What just happened? Like, that wasn't a dream or anything, was it? Anyway, as I was saying, let's just tell Office we can find any job. Alright, we're back to that. The door is locked, okay. Um. It's a worn down stuffed animal. Was that just like a play pretend this entire time? We were just playing pretend? It's a checkerboard. There are pawns strewn on it. It's a light switch. Playing cards spill out of the closet. Huh. That's really interesting. There's nothing else in here? Nope. Okay. Man, the sun's already setting. Everyone else must have gone home by now. Wow. Guess office will know better than to ask us next time, huh? Yeah, I guess so. It's not our fault, it's hers for asking us, you know? Well, I guess we should go. See you later, I guess. Chris? Oh no, are you gonna pick me up again? Let's go back there tomorrow, right? Oh. Alright, guess not. Guess we're friends now. Alright, the door is locked. I guess. Door is locked. I'm gonna go back into our class now. So, are you ready for the Sadie Hawkins dance? Yep, okay. Talking to memorabilia. The locker is locked. The locker's lock is locked. The locker's locker is locked. Or the lock's locker is locked. The locker's locked, locker is locked. Okay. Alright, um... You check the time. It seems to not be time for class. The computer's turned off. Everything felt peaceful for a moment. Huh. It's a bunch of roses. Looks like motivational quotes from... Yep, okay. Is there anything else in here? No, there's some papers in there that I'd like to read, but okay. Hmm. I'm not this side. I never got to go over here. You ran the water fountain. It's lukewarm. Ugh. Do you like breathing, moving fast, with or without legs? But usually <laughs> with legs? Join the cross-country team with Jockington and Noel. Oh, man. I love running without legs. Locker, it's locked. Locker, it's locked. Locker, it's locked. This used to be your brother's locker. Azriel! It's your locker. It's empty. Huh. Does that say Miss Toriel on the board? Miss Toriel is written in cursive on the dry erase board. Seems like it hasn't been erased in a very long time. Huh. Scented markers. Wait, what did it ask? 
scented markers. Yes? You dig out the marshmallow one and start huffing it. Stop. How about no? The chocolate one smells too fake anyway. It's a poster of several basic shapes. Circle, oval, square. Hyper dodecahedron. That's a pretty good one. Kids books. Some of them used to be yours. It's a primitive drawing of your mom. Of your mom! Oof, got him. Some kind of teacher food. Looks like an apple. It's a computer. Its desktop wallpaper is you and your brother dressed up for Halloween eight years ago. Alright. It's a nice tower. Some kind of primitive sculpture. Who knows what it represents? I don't know. The throne of the gods. Oh, hell yeah. I remember doing that shit in, in like, uh, in, like, primary school. You know, you stack up all the chairs, and whoever sits on there is the fucking king. C Chris? Whatever have you been doing? I sat in the car waiting for you after school for half an hour. I called and called, but you never picked up. You had your poor mother you were worried sick. Chris, I'm afraid I'm going to have to punish you. Huh? A friend? You were spending time with a friend? Chris, I will make an exception this time. I guess that's how that fucking works. You can continue your adventures a little longer, but when you return home, you're going to have to go to bed early. See you soon, honey. So I have to walk my ass home, I guess. Alright. The library! Yes, I'm going in here. It's Birdly. Gross, you survived Susie. I was getting worried. Now you can finally pay off your family debt. How to Draw Dragons is 2,583 days overview. overdue. Man, I just really want to know how to draw dragons, okay? Drawing dragons is hard! However, Chris, I am a benevolent volunteer assistant. If you turn it in this week, I'll reduce your fine to a mere $64.23. Consider it, Chris. Ah, uh, did you forget what it looks like? The front is, perhaps, a mauve dragon wearing lipstick. A mauve dragon. Mauve is a cool color. Well, it's a cool name. I don't know if it's a cool color. And as for your clothes, I believe they are well. You know, Chris, I think you'll know it when you see it. Is it like like a thong or some shit? There's a book here. You lick the page. It's delicious. This must be what I meant by flavor text. Yeah, that's it. It's an unlabeled book. You look inside. Oh, I accidentally returned my personal journal instead of my book. Oh no, they're putting it into the catalog. Oh no, I have to take it out every time I want to write a new entry. Or just tell them it's your fucking journal. Or maybe buy it from them, I don't know. Chris, what's up? Caddy's working, so I'm starting our project. I er, I've already copied a bunch of pictures. It's the same picture of a soccer ball 73 times. You could say I'm having a ball. <laughs> oh hell yeah. There's an anime review. Read it. Uh, no, 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 no. You decide not to read it. Uh, what if I do? Teens Corner, Teens Corner Monthly Tune Review. Mew Mew Kissy Cutie 2. Oh, is this Alphys? This reviewer had Mew Mew 2 as their first exposure to the series. And let her tell you, it makes Mew Mew 1 look like a dumpster, look like a dumpster with sparkly cat ears. With a darker storyline and much more mature themes, the second one treats the viewer like a real adult. Instead of, like, an animal that will die if it goes ten seconds without seeing a beach ball. Not to mention, Mew Mew's character in the first one is more stale than the ramen I eat at home by myself with the lights off. Teens and older should check out this dark masterpiece. Signed, The Anonymous Yellow Lizard. But I thought she liked... I thought she liked Mew Mew 1 better. Huh. I guess this is, like, a different universe, so it's, like, different. I don't know. There's a crude drawing of an ice cube wearing a headband. The teen zone, where teens, where teens can be kids. A feeling of immense relief washes over you. Okay, no, I already read it. Alright, it's Tam. Got to go with the garlic, so Tam stubby hard. She's reading a comic full of hot demon guys. Alright. Alright, I want to see what's on the table. Alright, what's this guy doing? I love reading books, especially the books upstairs. You should really read them. Uh, I love reading books, especially the books. Alright, maybe you should let me upstairs, you fucking cunt. Jesus. 
computer lab. Please search the web responsibly. In fact, maybe don't do it at all. In the fucking computer lab. Please remember my name. Please, I wrote a book to help you remember. By Hot's Fire Guy. Oh, that's like Heath Flamesman. Okay. Lord of the Hammer. You mean Thor? First in the award-winning fiction series by lauded historian Gerson Boom. Oh. So I guess he does Norse mythology then. You look through the window to the computer lab. There seems to be a dog inside working on the computer. Seems like it's making a game. Seems like you shouldn't interrupt it. Seems like when the game's finished, you can go in. You just have to trust the dog. Oh, uh, is that supposed to be Toby? Like, the annoying dog? Oh, man. <gasps> it's on nine! Hold on, I wanna t I'm gonna talk to you in a minute, but I wanna go on here first. Oh, is this a church? Chris, what a pleasant surprise to see you here. Another school day. There must be a reason that you came here at such a time. I, Father Alvin, implore you. If you have anything weighing on your mind, please speak. Uh, <laughs> fruit juice. <laughs> Chris, if you want some of our sick fruit juice. Sick. You should come to our service. Our choir sounds a bit thinner since your brother went away. Chris, it would be wonderful if you would sing with us. Or even participate to any extent. Instead of just trying to drink the fruit juice. <laughs> Alright. Um, what about nothing? I understand. I hope in time you may find the words you seek. Let the angel's power light your way. Alright. I'm not super religious. I'm not super religious, but sure. Alright, oh, what's this one? Gerson, renowned historian, author, and teacher. So he's dead? Alright. Crystal, a snowy gemstone for a proud mother. Oh, is that like Snowdrake's mom? Oh, because she was dead before. Muttler, a big bone for the leader of the pack. Shira. That's like Shirin. A karaoke mi microphone for a brave singer. Huh. Well, Gerson Boom Memorial Bench. Throughout my career, some of the best ideas came from my dreams. Take a rest here if anyone asks your writing. While you're fucking asleep. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah, I'm gonna run. Ooh. What's down here? A long fucking hallway. That's what's down here. It's locked. What the fuck? Alright, guess I'm out. Guess I'm just fucking out. Alright. Well, let's go to the town hall. There's nothing else around here. So. Alright, who's this sack of shit? Hey, short stuff. Why would you possibly need to talk to the mayor? Your allowance too low? Ate too much candies? Lost your frisbee in the wash? Hey, short stuff. That's what the cops are for. What? Don't talk. Don't talk. Don't. What? Don't talk to you like you're a kid? Fine. If you need someone to change your diaper, go ask the cops. The cop is. Belongs to cop. No apostrophe there, you sack of shit. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. The mayor is busy right now. If you need to see her, please try causing some terrible crisis. Alright. Oh, wait. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Are you here to complain about your teacher? If you don't like her, please blame your mother for getting her hired. Wait, so is, is Toriel the principal as well? The mayor's charisma is about zero. No, it's negative. But she works hard and has a good track record, so she runs unopposed. That's politics. Rarely. <laughs> You're right. May it's a chair. Maybe it's into politics. Alright. It's a small pine tree. It's a painting of the town. Alright. I wonder who the mayor is, though. Huh. <coughs> I wonder if it's someone I know. Alright. Wait. What's this car doing? Police Chief Undar is supposed to be directing traffic, but all she's doing is standing in the middle of the street yelling, GET OUT OF MY WAY! She's the best, huh? I feel really directed. Alright. How am I supposed to get past this blue lady? I'm stuck! I guess I should just run away. Alright. Okay. Hey, punk! Get out of the road! You're blocking traffic! Oh wait, it's just Asgore's kid. Sorry, I'm a little, uh, worked up lately. 
This job is so boring. Nothing ever happens in this town. <clears throat> I wish I could. I wish something would shake things up. <sighs> you got something to report? Um, Alphys. Alphys? Who's Alphys? No idea who you're talking about. Oh, you don't know Alphys? No, that's not good. Why do they do something illegal? Gotcha. If I see Alphys, I'll tackle him. <laughs> They're as good as dead. I'll uh, help you. Uh, you want to help me? Sure, punk. Oh, also, she has both of her eyes now. And not an eye patch. Get someone to rob the bank so I can suplex them. Wait, do we even have a bank? Hey, get someone to build a bank. Sure will. Dark world. What? Is a dark world inside the school? A sure, kid. There's no law against dark worlds anyway. That's a job for the school board. Alright. Oh, nothing. Okay. Don't do anything illegal, you little punk. And let me know if you get any lead on purple girls. This one wanted on several counts of comic mischief. Alright. Hospital. Oh, these things. Oh. I fucking love these things. It's one of those sliding bead toys that naturally spawns inside the doctor's offices. The beads march grimly along their set path. Dude, those things are fucking awesome. Uh, piano. Um. No, I won't play it yet. Alright. Oh, with you! Are you here to play the piano again? The patients can't hear it well from here, but I personally enjoy it. Alright, then fine. Oh, wait, I didn't read it. Hold on. I'm gonna. No. Okay. It's an obligatory hospital piano shrunk to fit in the corner. As a result, it's missing most of the good keys. Play it? Hell yeah. <laughs> hey, that's pretty good. Plink. Um, what if I don't play it? Your hands linger over the keys, doing nothing. Alright. Mmm, you just see play the piano a bit more beautifully. Is everything okay? You do seem a little sick. No, I don't. You seem a little stupid. There's a diagram showing a bunch of lines and circles. Lines and a circle. Okay. Who the fuck are you? It's a regular sink. It's a clone of the other sink. Perhaps there was originally one tall sink that was cut in half to create both of them. <laughs> you looked inside the cupboard. A very small, obligatory piano is hiding inside. Nice. It's a classic 1 to 10 pain scale using Icy as a model. Oh, is that like the spray for the boys? Pizza flavor? At zero pain, he's happy. At ten pain, he's happy and sweating. Alright. This guy's a white wizard who like relegating me to this healing chamber. But my blood is boiling for battle. I don't know what he's talking about. If any of you know, please tell me. Because I don't know what the fuck that is. Uh, Dad, I can't just say that to her. Oh my god, I'd die. I'd literally die. Noel, sweetheart. First time I laid eyes on your mother, I walked right up to her and told her she was a hot piece of work. Really? Yeah, she slapped me so hard I blacked out. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> that, that doesn't help at all. Anyhow, has Dragon Blazes 3 beat it yet? Nah. Uh, nah, I'm still at the Ice Palace. I've been kind of, kind of waiting to finish it with you, Dad. Noel, maybe, maybe you shouldn't wait. Oh, D dad You should bring it here. I'm bored as hell. All right, that makes more sense. <laughs> Fine, you win. I'll bring it next time. Oh, it's getting late. Guess I better go. I've got homework. Oh, that group project for it. That's the group project for us. Bird guy again. What's his name? Nerdly. Yeah, got him. Slay him. Slay him! Alright. It's a birdly. He's not that bad, Dad. 
I'll kick his ass. Yes! Huh, Doc, you're not even supposed to get up. Bring him by the window, I'll throw something at him. Goodbye, Dad. Bye, honey. Okay. Oh, hi, Chris. Alright. Uh, let's talk to you first. Well, Jingle, my gosh darn bears, looks like Christmas came early. Nice. Alright, Chris, just give me the straight shot. Why are you here? Did your mom make you come here? No, actually. Really? You've grown up a lot, Chris. I'm proud of you. It wasn't too long ago you were just the creepy kid next door. Now you're the creepy kid right in front of me. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, okay, seriously. You wanna chat or something? Um, no, wow. She's a sweetheart, isn't she, Chris? Oh, Smart, kind, sweet. Couldn't ask for a better daughter. I just wish she wasn't so defenseless. <coughs> Scary movies, bugs, Santa Claus, everything scares her. And when it happens, she freezes like a deer in headlights. Because she's a fucking deer. Remember she used to even be afraid of humans under the bed? Chris, it was not nice of you to hide under there, by the way. <laughs> Anyhow, that's what's tough about being in here, Chris. Not what's going on with me. Just that, in the meantime, I can't be there to protect her. Keep an eye out for her, okay? Alright. Um, wait, what did you say? And then what the hell are you here for, Chris? To gawk? You thought this was a zoo or something? Come on. Alright. Hey, Chris, you wanna chat or something? Don't worry, there's no way you can bore me right now. Illness. So, why am I in here? Well, they found some crap, so it's just tests. Yeah, it's no big deal. Nothing a holiday can't handle. I'll be out of here in a jiff. Then I can go back to, I don't know, yelling at you for getting tangled in our light display. <laughs> Alright. Uh, family. Chris, even if we've grown apart, we still love your family. After all, me and Asgore were college pals, right? Oh, hey, now that Asriel's off to college, you think he's doing any crazy parties like me and your dad? Heh, <laughs> I'm just pulling your leg. Your dad was no party animal. Your mother, on the other hand, whoo! I can, I, I'm trying to imagine Toriel at a party, and it's funny as hell. She know it's fuss about going, but once the party started, yikes, man. Once she hit me clear across the room with a key lime pie, I got smashed in the snack table and toppled everything. Tasty pie, though, couldn't complain. Key lime pie is really not that good. Hey, Chris, you forgot my name or something? Patient name, Rudolph Rudy Holiday. Chris, you jealous that you don't have your own wall plaque? Amazing what's being done with our, pack ta our taxpayer dollars, huh? Okay, he's just gonna say the same thing. It's a sink. Hey, Chris, is that sink really more interesting than me? Yeah, it's an angel doll. Its lack of facial features is unsettling. That angel? No one this made it in a youth group. It's kinda like a good luck charm to me now. Oh, right, you and Azzy tried to make one too. But you wasted the whole time making huge wings for it. Yeah, because that makes it cooler. It's a bunch of roses in a glass container. Hey, I'm happy your dad brought me flowers, but... Roses? What is this, man? Beauty and the Beast? <laughs> that ain't gonna work, man. We're both beasts. <laughs> it's a chair. It's fucking great. Alright, bye, dude. I'm glad that's a chair. Alright, what's this way? The police. You knock the door on the police station. Someone's coming up to the window. <laughs> they just fucking slap them. They just close the blinds. Seems like the police aren't really feeling it right now. Alright. Police tape is blocking the way. The tape simply reads, <laughs> Nice one, Undyne. I'm glad. Alright. What's up here? It's Sans's! And this is Papyrus's house. Hold on, I'm gonna go all the way down here and make my way back. I'm gonna go down this creepy alley. It's Alphas. It's a dirty trash can. Uh, Alright. Oh, Chris! Chris, you're okay! I, I was really worried when you didn't come back. Where did you go? Did you skip class? Oh, well, don't worry about it. I'm the cool teacher, you know. You're not in trouble. Oh, well, let me know if you need anything. Alright. Dirty trash can. Dirty trash can. It's a trash can full of well-kept flowers. Huh. 
It's a saucer of milk. Oh, Chris. Did, did you want to talk about something? Uh, flowers. Oh, these flowers? They're from your dad. He, he always asks how you're doing in school. Then gives me a bouquet of them. Uh, actually, that he always gives me the flowers. It really makes me wonder if he likes... If he likes... The awesome comics I lent to him. Honestly, he kind of reminds me of a superhero, Chris. He sees you and could kick my ass. <laughs> nice. Nice save there, Alfu. Uh, oh, Chris. Did you want to talk about something? Uh, the chalk. Oh, the chalk that we were gonna go get. Okay. Chris, even though you never got the chalk, you deserve a reward for trying so hard to find it. So, in return, I can let you borrow, um, my, my own made collection of the symptoms. Symptoms. A plus comedy, ladies and gentlemen. You know, the sitcom about the middle class monster family. It's got every episode in all 28 seasons. It's the funniest, most quotable show ever. But make sure you don't watch past the second season, since they just reviewed it as a Simpsons Turbo. All they started driving their own motor vehicles and fighting giant giga demons and stuff. The main problem is about that kind of loss of focus on family that I had earlier, and their vehicles are shaped like animals, and they're friends with the animal vehicles. And let's not get into Simpsons Galaxy Force, where the Simpsons is on another Earth on the other side of the sun. When the gravitational field just. Huh? You don't want to watch it? That's okay, Chris. Alright, that was a trip, man. What about the saucer? Oh, the saucer of milk? It's for my kitty, Mew Mew. She's a perfect angel. Huh? What does she look like? Oh, well, I've never actually seen her, but... Ever since I started putting out milk, it's been disappearing. So I'd like to think that there's a cat. M my cat. That makes sense. Nothing. Okay, um, if you ever need help with homework... My office hours are in this disgusting all alley. <laughs> um, tell your mom I said hi. Alright, I will. Monster Kid. Yo, Chris! You survived Susie, huh? I mean, I never saw her beat up anyone, but... I'd, uh... Or, uh, I'd be careful. Like, one time, me, Stowie, and Jock and Tim were playing handball, and she just kept creepily watching us from the corner. Then, when the ball rolled over to her, she just uh, froze solid, and kicked the ball as hard as she could right in the Officer Undine's car. <sighs> then Undine came out smiling, cracked her knuckles, and totally wiped us a handball. Anyway, Susie sucks, Chris, huh? Yo, Chris, you look kind of annoyed. Everything okay? You can calm down now, dude. She's not here, huh? Huh? You look even more annoyed. Uh, yeah, because she's cool. You piece of shit. Knock, knock, knock. Oi, Snowy, what did I tell you about knocking the door so hard? Don't. Do. It. It's really gonna hurt your face. We don't have arms, you know. <laughs> Alright. Whew, you're lucky, Chris. You got to miss class with Alphys. It's not fair. Ha <laughs> ha. If I skipped class, my dad would never let me hear the end of it. Ha <laughs> ha. That's actually not even remotely funny. <laughs> Alright, I guess. Uh, so, what's this one? Knock, knock, knock. Huh? That sounds like the knock of a beginner. Come back when you've gotten better at knocking. Alright, guess I'm only a level one. And that's how Mafia works. Ooh, are you the human that lives in the top of town? Wow, my mommy told me about you. Does it hurt to be made of blood? I'm not made of blood, you dumb piece of shit. Jesus. Um, no response, but the distant trousers of bones! Woo! Yeah, okay. I don't know why I got so excited about that. I mean, Papyrus is cool. Hey, look who's walking around. How are you, kid? Um, should I say great to see you again, or who the hell are you? <laughs> great to see you again. Yeah, it's real nice, isn't it? Especially considering I'd never met you before. <laughs> the name's Sans. Sans a skeleton. I'm new in town. What's up? Uh, store. Behind me? Yeah, that's the grocery store. Unfortunately, it's closed. What a pain. I really wanted to buy some milk. Someone ought to complain to the guy who runs it. <laughs> nice, Sans. Uh, friend. We just moved here, so I hardly know anyone. Why, got anyone I, why, got anyone I should know better? Um, me. Whoa were they, Tiger? You can't just jump straight into friendship. It takes time. Alright, that's enough time. Take this. Call it whenever you feel like. Got Sansa's number. Alright, uh, let's call him. 
Ring, ring. Hello. Or hello, you have reached the hotline for idiot babies. Please press one for idiots, two for babies, three for idiot babies, and four for none. Uh, one. Ah, you're an idiot? To tell you the truth, I'm one too. Let's try our best, okay? <laughs> Alright. Not Sans's number. The phone kept ringing infinitely. What's up? Um, friends. We just moved here, so I hardly know anyone. Got anyone much better? My teacher. Elsis. Yeah, I know about her. Came into the store with a suitcase and sunglasses. Thought she was part of the mob. She opened up the case and stuffed it full of instant noodles. Paid in small bills, then slunk out of the place. Pajamas trailing on the floor. Anyway, our relationship is, a uh, purely business. So, uh, I guess I'll just let her do her thing. Alright, friends. Uh, my mom. Your mother, huh? Too late. I already befriended your mom last night. <laughs> Holy shit, Sans. She's great. Came to my store to buy chocolate kisses. Said she's got a locked door to stop me from eating them. <laughs> you sound like a fun kid, huh? Alright, uh, leave. Oh, you got something better to do? Me too. Anyway, I'll be standing here doing nothing. <laughs> Sounds great. Hey, bud. Are you busy tomorrow? I need some help with something. It'd be great if you could come over. I live just next door, you know? Uh, yeah, sure, of course. Uh, well, you were deliberating for a while. Gee, what's wrong? Don't want to hang out with a stranger? Well, guess I shouldn't complain. Huh? What are we going to be doing? Oh, I'm not going to be there. That'd be weird. Alright. It's just going to be you and my little brother. That's Papyrus. He needs friends. Thanks for hanging out with him. See ya. Alright. Sounds like a plan, my man. Mm. Oh boy. <clears throat> Alright, Arcee's die. Who the fuck are you? I'm going in here to be safe from you. It's Caddy. You're alive. Nice. I'm working. This uniform's mandatory. Alright. Uh, we'll take the special, and do you have any edible glitter? The youngest one won't eat anything if it doesn't look like treasure. Sounds like a little bitch. In a pinch, sprinkles will work too. I guess. Okay. Rave reviews and autographs from various normal townspeople. <laughs> oh my god, you're the, you're the woman from Snowden, the shopkeeper. Hey there, haven't seen you in a while, hun. <laughs> Jesus, I'm gross. I remember back on Sundays at the service, you and your family would come down, come in and order the special. Of course, things happen and then y'all stopped coming together. But every Sunday, you and your brother would still come in. He'd order you a hot chocolate, and you two would sit at that table in the corner, drawing shapes in the window with your breath. You must really miss him, huh? Here, how about this? Chris got the hot chocolate. On the house, hon. Alright. Wait, ball of junk. Ball of junk. A small ball of accumulated things. It smells like scratch and sniff marshmallow stickers. Alright, hot chocolate. Topped with homemade marshmallows in the shape of bunnies. Alright, can I throw away this ball of junk? You really didn't want to throw it away. Throw it away anyway? N no, I feel like it might... I feel like it might be helpful for something. Don't be a stranger now, all right, hun? I'll sure try. Looking at my rugged body, you must wonder what kind of secrets I hold. My secret is I put all my leftover pancakes in this giant hat. Whew, I sure love pancake. Oh, this guy was throwing ice blocks. Ice Wolf. Ice Wolf does not like ice and drink. Ice Wolf likes ice to be drink. Ice Wolf also like ice themed mascots. All right, like Icy. So, for you two girls, that'll be the crepes, a cinnamon latte, two bunny parfaits, and a piece of firewood? And how would you like that firewood done? Uh, medium rare. That's generally how I like it. I like the vibe of the waitress here. Maybe I should sign up too. Nah, serving drinks wouldn't really suit a fire elemental. If I got nervous, I'd just melt all the ice. <laughs> Alright. What if I just started coffee? Nah, that sounds like a lawsuit waiting to happen. Dude, remember when I used to skip the first hour of class to come here? You were fine, but I almost had to repeat the year because of it. 
Dust crates are mad worth though. Delinquency is the best condiment. <laughs> Dude, if we didn't bring Gerson our leftovers, I bet he would have failed. I bet I would have failed hard. Nice, good for you. I'm glad you almost failed. Now who is this son of a bitch? Ice me up! Ice me up, boss! <laughs> Ice me up, boss! Do it! Do it to me, boss! Ice me up! Holy shit. Icy's pizza. Your number one fought for a piping hot piece of pizza. Alright. The entrance is locked and no one's inside. Seems like all of the employees are outside in costume. That seems like bad for business. Here at Icy's Pezza, your family is going is your family is going to love it. Okay. Would you be interested in trying some of our many 24 Pezza flavors? You've got normal, cheese, ice, gravy, double ice, pepperoni, pepperonis. And more. Stop on down at Icy's Pezza. Alright. Oh god, someone's actually here. Uh, Icy's Pizza. Your number one spot for a piping hot piece of Pezza. Uh, hey, wait a second. I recognize you. It's Burger Pants. Little buddy, it's me. Wanna chat for a minute before I lose my mind? Asriel, do you know when Azzy's coming home? You can't tell him this, but I really miss the guy. It'd be sweet to cruise around town like old times. Pick it up, for example. Yes. Which, as a matter of course, may not have ever actually happened. But, but one time, one time, made eye contact with me. While she was writing me a speeding ticket. Alright. Uh, co-workers. Ah, uh, yes, little buddy. Good idea. Meet the rogues gallery. Bluey, a soft serve obsessed. No concept of personal space. Keeps accidentally pouring slushies on me and giggling. The worry is thankfully absent due to peach related injuries. Oh, that must be the guy that was in the hospital. Constantly terrorizing customers with war chants. Purple guy, man, that guy, you gotta. Actually, does that guy even work here? <laughs> oh, my co workers, where would I be without them? A happy place, little buddy. A much happier place. Hey, little buddy, what's up? Job. Make no mistake, little buddy. Icy's Pizza is here! I can't sock off for, for seconds without hearing be a team player. There's no I in Pezza. Yes, there is! You just took it out! But it's okay, little buddy. I've been saving up to go to college where Azzy is. Then I'll get a theater degree, become a famous actor, and let the angels roll in, little buddy. Alright, um, no. It's fine, little buddy. You don't have to watch me suffer. Just enjoy your freedom while it lasts. Alright, I'm gonna run away. Because I don't want to deal with your shit. Oh yeah, they went down there. <gasps> it's Caddy! Look, Chrissy! Like, what's up? Give Aunt Caddy a hug! Mwah! 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 Haha! <laughs> I'm not even actually your aunt! Oh my god! Can I talk to you about something? Actually, like, anything though. Your choice. Asriel. Oh my god, Asriel, like, what a cutie pie. Cutie pie Marcia. Yeah. Do you remember when he, when me and him went to the dance? That was, like, the best night ever. Even though I spilled the entire punch bowl all over him. And danced inappropriately in front of your mom. Holy shit. And got arrested in the parking lot for making a scene. <laughs> that was so much fun. Tell him I said hi. Uh, sister. Ooh, how's Caddy doing? I have no idea. We, like, totally can't connect at all. Yesterday, I asked if she wanted to hear me play the ukulele. She said no, and then she, like, told me. My playing is an anti-blessing from Planet Hell. What the heck, Chrissy? That's so cute. I love my freaked up little sis. Nice. Good for you. Whew. Look, Chrissy, did you want to talk about something? Uh, neighbors. Like, that green girl over next door? Oh my god, Chrissy. She's, like, my life villain. Like, the other day, I went to see Cat Petters 2, and the only other person in, in the theater was her. Then I went to QC's and ordered a Cat Pacino, and she, like, was already drinking one. She's, like, such a copycat. Uh, copygator? Oh, is that bratty? Copysaurus? Copadile? I don't know, she sucks. Alright. Uh, nothing. Oh, you gotta go? Do you have, like, homework? 
You should, like, let me help. Ha <laughs> ha! JK, I totally don't want to. Laters. Aw, uh, Chris, if you, like, want to come in, our cat flap is, like, always open to you. Is that just, like, the door? Because you're all cats? Hey, neighbor, baby. When's your brother Doug gonna come by? <laughs> my girls love to see him. He's a sweet little man. He's just got one problem. He doesn't like my wife's cooking. What's wrong, Douglas? You don't like frozen... Or, what's wrong, Douglas? You don't like frozen cat food? <laughs> also, you're missing an arm. It's a broken grill. It smells like burnt cat food. <laughs> Great. It is bratty. There's some kind of scratching noises coming from inside. Hmm. Chrissy, like, in a long time no say. What's up? Did you want to talk about something? Uh, neighbor. Ugh, that chick next door drives me nuts. I keep seeing her everywhere I go. She's a total copycat. Like, why, though? Doesn't she realize she'll never be me? Honestly, her whole family is, like, so trashy. Jesus Christ, dude. Once her sister served me a coffee, and I swear it was half cat fur. Like, get a hair net, girl, for, like, your whole body. That's just called, like, a fishing net. Go away. Oh, that's no way to talk to your almost sister-in-law. Nah, I'm joking, but, like, remember that time I played Truth or Dare with Azzy? I, like, made him give, a, give me his first kiss. Then your mom found that he kissed someone and, like, I think she basically dialed 911. I swear your family went to church, like, every single day that week. Damn. Memories. Remember that time you wanted to hang out with us big kids? I was like, yeah, of course, just get us some burgers. Then, like, amazingly, you actually got them. So I told you to go back and get some french fries, too. Then a dozen miniature cakes. They were so good, I ate, like, six. Then I, like, suddenly got so sick I had to go home. Man. So, like, anyway, Chris, are you busy? Yeah, a little bit. You know, not liking you. Oh, Chrissy, you just wanted to say hi? That's adorable. Now get out of here. <laughs> Alright. Is this Naps Book's house? Knock, 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 knock. Oh, I'm afraid no one's home right now. Or, oh, I'm afraid no one's home right now, darling. It's Metaton! No, why don't you prance on home? Because I don't want to. I'm telling you they're not home right now. Oh, you just wanted to talk to me? My apologies, beautiful. I'm afraid I'm a bit of a nobody. No, you're not. Shut your mouth. Ooh, a truck. It's your dad's truck. The floor of the front seat is littered with old papers and country CDs. <coughs> Alright. Huh. The Royal Guards! Nothing better than hanging out the lick of my best bro. Watching the waves go by. Alright. True. Alright. It's a metal picnic table. Cigarette butts lay on the ground underneath it. Stick your fingers in the holes in the table. Sure. Fuck it. Your fingers don't fit through the top anymore. You try from below. Your hand became covered in cobwebs. Uh stop it. Alright. Um, what's the spot mean? What what does this do? Oh <gasps> Is that it's onions and Man, everyone's coming back. Jeez, I just turned my volume up and it blasted my ears. Hey there! Notice you were here! It's me! You know me, right? Of course you do! I'm real popular, I just don't have any friends. But it's okay here, cause you're you here. Will you be my friend? Of course. Oh! Oh! I'm so happy here! I'm so happy! I, I, I don't know what to do. I don't remember being this happy before. What's your name, friend? Uh, Hippopotamus. <laughs> Hippo, hyper, hoper, um, Hippopotamus? That's you! Big name, but it's worth it. Oh, excuse me, I forgot to introduce myself. <coughs> Actually, since no one talks to me, I forgot my own name. Hippopotamus, can you give me a name? Um, I'm gonna just call you Onion. Because disgusting is mean, beauty is... Weird. Asriel 2 is... I don't know. Onion. Hmm, it's perfect here. I don't know what it means, but it's perfect. Hmm, feels like it's shaped like me. Feels like it smells like me. So you smell like shit. Uh, wait. Was that the name? 
Uh, oh, um, yum. Yeah, it's perfect. Um, yum, a name. A perfect name. Thank you for giving me a name. I'll cherish it, you hear? Oh, hip, hip, uh, um, hyper potato mask. That's your name, right? I want to tell you something tomorrow. Something I can only tell a friend. Jesus, your face got dark. Come back soon, you hear? Alrighty. Alright, so I can't talk to you again. Alright. Well, let's go into Dad's flower shop. Flower King. It's Dad! Dum de dum. Oh, is someone there? Just a moment. I have almost finished watering these flowers. Alright, looks like you spilled a bunch of shit on the floor. Here we are. And it's Asgore! Howdy, how can I. <gasps> oh, Chris! Yay, nice hugs. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot if you don't like hugs like that. Not fine. Well, now, make yourself at home, Chris. Ah, hold on, my nose. <clears throat> ah, holy shit. Alright. You can help yourself to anything you like. Alright, uh, what's this bag of seed? Um, I don't know. It's some kind of catalog. There's a car magazine underneath. It's a flower. It happens to be golden. It's cash registers. There's not much change inside. Huh. Well, guess he doesn't make a lot of money. Say, Chris, I was thinking. Perhaps when Azriel comes home, we could all go to the din to the diner, just like old times. My treat. <coughs> Doesn't that sound yummy? Alright, then we could all have a nice drive around town. I might need to clean out my truck, but... Aww. He's so nice. There are various flowers inside. Various flowers. Various flowers. Okay, let's go downstairs. Huh. It's an air mattress. It's certainly not king size. Chris, do you want to have a sleepover? You could use that air mattress and I could eat. Er, use those bags of soil. Perhaps not. Alright. The small TV. On top are some superhero comics. Oh, those are the ones from Alphys. <coughs> it's a frosty fridge with some photos on it. Oh, Chris, if you're not, if you're hungry, help yourself to anything you want. Um, let's see the photos first. A photo of your mother and father on their wedding day. She's holding a bouquet of seven flowers. A reindeer-looking monster stands nearby in a tuxedo. Hey, that's Rudy! They all look happy. Oh, I just realized his name is Rudolph. Oh, and he's a reindeer. Let's see fridge with some photos on it. Alright, let's open fridge. All that's inside is a jar with a single pickle in it. You decide to pass. Alright, uh, don't. You decide not to look. There's some dirty fur stuck in the drain. Huh. Well. Green flower protected by a container. Orange flower. Yellow flower. Purple flower. Blue flower. Cyan flower. And a golden flower. Nice. It's a note. It says, no rent received. Again, stop giving away flowers. Start selling them. You have one month. C. C. That's a new E meme. It's C. Alright. Various bags of soil. It's a dirty watering can. Oh, what's over here? It's a door. It's locked. Oh. Yes, these flowers are still kicking. Quite hard to take care of them in this climate. Huh. That's interesting. But I gotta go. Um, oh, okay, so he's gonna say something again. <coughs> oh, Chris, before you go. Here, for your mother. Our treat. You got the bouquet of flowers. Have a great day, Chris. Oh, okay, he's just gonna say that again. Wait, I wanna, I wanna check. Uh, the bouquet, info. Bouquet, a bouquet of beautiful flowers in many colors. Perhaps it could be off to someone. Huh. Maybe I'll do that then. What's over here? Oh, it's Noel. Oh, hi, Chris. Did you need help with your homework again? I know you were having trouble last time, so, um, I actually got a few things ready for you in case... Oh, wait, sorry, I can't right now. 
I forgot my house key again, and sorry, Chris. I'll help you later, if that's okay. See you at school, Chris. Um, Chris? Did you want to talk about something? Uh, Susie. Susie, that's right. You were Susie. When you didn't go back to class, I was worried, but everything turned out okay, I think. Um, Chris, can I ask something, if that's okay? Susie, I'm kind of curious what she's like, you know? I mean, who doesn't wonder about her? She never talks to anyone. So, Chris, could you tell me about her, if that's okay? Ah, uh, she's nice. What? She's a nice person? Really? Like, really? Honestly, truly? I mean, that's just what I was hoping, but... Wait, this isn't another trick, is it, Chris? Like when you put ketchup on your arms and told me it was blood? R really? You're serious? You're totally serious? Gosh, then maybe you should try talking to her. B but if I die, you're paying for my funeral, Chris. Though, honestly, if she's nice, I might die, too. Oh! Is she the one you were talking about with your dad? Oh! So we had online analysis in the last one. We got another lesbian couple. It's Noel and Susie. Nice. Hi, Chris. Something up? Oh, wait. Wait. What did she say? Oh, can I ask something else about her? Well, did it seem like she, um... Wait, you definitely would not want to know that. Oof. Anything. Um, Chris, are you feeling alright? I mean, you're not so talkative. Oh, I didn't mean to sound like something's wrong with you. Um, Chris, is something wrong? <laughs> Why did you go to the hospital to see my dad? I mean, um, I'm sure you appreciate it, but, um, gosh, I'm sorry, Chris. Forget I said anything. Um, what did I say anything again? Uh, okay. A uh, key. Huh? Why don't I ask my mom for the key? I, I mean, um, I, you know, she doesn't like it when I bother her when she's working. Don't worry, okay? I'll just go over to Caddy's. Oh, your mom must be the mayor. Alright, uh, nothing. Tell Asi I said hi, Chris. Alright, it's an ornate gate. It appears to be locked. Nice, good for you. It's my house. It's your mom's van. Alright. Um. Is there anything back here? No. Welcome home, honey. Did you have fun with your friend today? By the way, I just finished baking a pie. If you go to bed, it will be cool when you wake. But do not eat it all this time, alright? Another pie! It's a book of hymns. This picture still doesn't tell me anything. Um, uh, chair, TV. The TV doesn't seem to even be plugged in anymore. Chris, what is it, honey? Um, me! Chris, honey, you have grown up so much. Someday soon you will be going off to university as well. Remember when you were little? You asked when your when your horns were going to grow in? So he bought that headband with the little red horns on it? Oh, you wore it for months. Whatever happened to it? Oh, that's sweet. Chris, what is it, honey? Um, uh, let's do Asriel first. Remember that video game you and Asriel used to play? What was it called? Super Smashing Fighters? <laughs> we used to play Smash? Oh my god. When he was very little, he loved the green lizard from that. Is that supposed to be Bowser or K. Rules in that now? That could be K. Rule. Huh. Are there any green lizard? Oh, there's Yoshi. Um. I can't think of any other green lizards. I don't know. We even had a birthday party for him teamed around it. Your father painted all these eggs with spots of decoration. Oh, okay, so it's Yoshi. Oh, your brother loved it. Until the next day, your father cooked them all for breakfast. Oh my god, what a fucking savage. Your brother just kept crying. Ever since, he's hated that book about eating green eggs. <laughs> green eggs and ham. Uh, flowers. Oh, Chris, flowers? For your mother? How sweet. These are from him, are they not? Uh, well, we're not, Chris. I will find some place for them. Okay. Pie! Chris, since only you and I are living here right now, it feels just a bit lonely, does it not? But fortunately, sharing a warm, freshly made pie is the perfect cure for such a condition. Mm. As long as I get to eat some, of course. Um, never mind. Chris, perhaps you should go to bed early tonight. You do not look like you do not look quite yourself. All right. It's a landline phone, but you already have a cell phone. Trash can. Somehow it's emitting a pleasant floral scent. 
Okay, so these are all the things from before. Cookie cutters for gingerbread monsters and gingerbread humans. It's a butterscotch cinnamon pie. It's still cooling. Some white fur stuck in the drain. It's a photo on the fridge of you, your mother, and your brother. Okay. Let's go back to the bathroom. You looked inside the sink cover. There's a can of Icy's Cool Boys Body Spray Spray for the Boys Flaming Hot Pizza Flavor. And now I know who Icy actually is. It seems to be almost entirely full. But Icy seems so cool. The toilet. Flush it. Hell yeah, I'm doing this shit again. Flush the toilet. I wonder if I can do this, this secret again. <gasps> Yay! Chris, is everything alright in there? Uh, yeah, everything. Never better. Obviously. I just have some diarrhea. Piece of shit. Alright. Chris, what are you doing? You did not put a bath bomb in the toilet again, did you? Yeah, no, sorry I'm doing this again, but I'm also not sorry, because I want to do it, and it's funny. And also, I definitely put a bath bomb in there. Suck my dick. Uh, bam. Chris, if anything bad happens, you are paying for the plumbing bill. Alright. Sure will, bud. And let's try it again. Alright, we're done. On the shower ledge is a small container of apple scented shampoo. And a gallon sized container of pet shampoo. Alrighty, now let's go upstairs. There are many books. Tales of Snails, a storybook. Snails do not have tails, a scientific refutation. Can snails help your garden? Um, not really. And a signed copy of The History of Humans and Monsters by Gerson Boom. Oh yeah, this is my room. I want to go over here. A cactus. There's not much to say about it. Alright. The crayons in the drawer, their labels have long faded and there's no green. It's only you. The door is locked. Okay, so we're going to my room. Let's just check everything again. Computer desk, many boxes under it filled with old books. The CDs under the bed. Classical, jazz, religious ska. There's also a game console. It has one normal controller and one knockoff one. Are we going to play Super Smashing Fighters? Hell yeah. I call, um... I call the Red Italian Man, who's also a fat piece of shit, also known as Mario. The drawer is mostly empty except for a school cross-country shirt with a tear in it. Okay. It's a beautiful day outside. Closed drawer. It's a red wagon with a rusty birdcage in it. Looks like it's seen quite a few crashes. Alright, if you go to bed, this chapter of your adventures will end. Will you go to bed? Um, what if I say no? You will sleep later. Alright, fine, I'll go to bed. You decide to go to bed. Alright, but I'm not actually going to get in the bed. Alright. Okay, I guess I'm in bed. Oh. What the... I guess I'm, I have, like, nightmares or something? How the fuck does that happen? And also, I'm not pressing anything right now. Guess I'm like a sleepwalker too. Also, what the fuck is happening? <laughs> I guess I have fingers. What the fuck? What the fuck? What is going on? I just ripped out my heart. I'm about to die. Um. What the fuck? Oh, I can move it around using the arrow keys. Look at the birdcage at the bottom. Oh shit! I got a knife. Oh, what the fuck? What the fuck was that shit? Alright! Yeah. I guess. Chapter 1. Oh, so there's going to be more. Nice. It's Tammy again. Alright. 
such a pretty good song. There's a fight inside the soul that says I need a kiss, kiss a kiss. The promise that I have. Wow. This kind of reminds me of Doki Doki. And it just crashes. Alright, well. Hold on, let me just. Alright. So. That was, uh, Delta Rune. Yeah, it's re it was really cool. And it was so much damn fun. I cannot wait for Chapter 2 to come out. Um, if any of you know anything about that, then feel free to tell me. But yeah, it's just such a cool game. And I really wanted to play it because I played Undertale recently. So I wanted to play this one too because it's just, it's just fitting. So, yeah, I've been recording for a while. Um, so I'm just going to end this one here. So that's it for this one. Uh, feel free to check out my Twitter and Instagram in the description. And also make sure you like and subscribe. And yeah, so till next time. See ya.